happy. Today, I'm going to share with you a fall craft that you could do with your toddler. This craft will give your toddler a chance to use their sense of touch and to problem solve. To do the craft, I've mounted a piece of contact paper. Um, if you're not familiar with that, you can buy that at the shelving department at the store where they sell shelf paper. Um, I put the sticky side out and taped it to this board. When you do it at home, you might want to put it in the window. You could tape it to a cookie sheet if you wanted to do it on the floor. You could tape it to your refrigerator. Um, what I'm going to do today is put tissue paper squares onto the contact paper. You could show your child how to do that. If they get their fingers over here, it's gonna feel kind of tacky and they'll have to figure out how to probably avoid that. They're either gonna like that or they're not gonna like that feel. So you can have them put tissue paper. Up. You'll want to probably leave this out over the course of the morning because children at this age like to come and go from an activity. Their attention span's not real long. So you might have this out for a couple of hours. From birth, children use their senses to learn about the world, providing opportunities for toddlers to actively engage their senses is crucial for their brain development. It helps to build the nerve connections in the brain that supports their cognitive growth. We're going to use some more squares up here and then I'm going to I'll show you how we'll finish our craft. So they don't have to all lay down on the paper. You'll find that with your child. They don't need to lay flat because you're going to use another piece of contact paper to put on top of the one that's down on this board. I'm going to peel the backing off and I'm going to lay it on top of them. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you try to get it to lay just perfect to match up, you you will be spending a lot of time doing that. You can smooth it out. And when you've got that smoothed out, you can peel it off, you can hold it up. I'll show you what it looks like. So, when you've got that done, you can take your magic marker and I just free drew some leaf shapes for mine, but then you could cut that out and you can hang it up. My finished product looked like this when I had spent some time putting those on. So you don't have to do this craft in the fall. You could make circles and shapes in the middle of winter with tissue paper and hang them up in the window. That gives that that'll give your child the best effect because they'll see the colors shining through. Enjoy doing crafts with your child. Bye!